In this video, let's learn how to derive the equation of a circle. Equation of a circle in diametric form. In diametric form. As the name itself indicates, we want the equation of the circle in diametric form. That means to say, if AB is the diameter of a circle, the required circle is described by taking AB as the diameter. And we want the equation of this circle in diametric form. For that, let's consider the extremities of the diameter as x1, y1 and b as x2, y2. A, x1, y1 and b, x2, y2 are the coordinates of the ends of the diameter. Consider any point, say p, x, y on the circumference of the circle and now you join AB and BP or BB. Evidently, the angle at P is a right angle triangle. You know why it is right angle? Because the angle in a semicircle is a right angle and APB is an angle in the semicircle of the circle and hence it is going to be a right angle. Now, since triangle APB is a right angle triangle it implies that the slope of AB multiplied with the slope of DB should be equal to negative unity that is negative 1 because if two lines are perpendicular to each other then the product of their slopes will be equal to minus 1 AB is perpendicular to DB therefore if you multiply the product of the slopes of these two lines then you should get negative 1 now, what is the slope of AB? If you look at the slope of the AB, AB is the join of x1, y1 and x, y. You know that the slope of a line joining the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is. If you have a line joining x1, y1 and x2, y2, in the previous class we have derived that the slope of such a line is going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Similarly, the slope of AB gives y minus y1, that is the difference in the corresponding ordinates divided by x minus x1, difference of corresponding abscess A into, I retain the into sign, slope of DB, the same formula, y minus y2 divided by x minus x2 is equal to negative 1. Now you cross multiply and simplify or y minus y1 into y minus y2 the numerators have been multiplied is equal to negative x minus x1 into x minus x2 after cross multiplication bring all the terms from right hand side to left hand side that is now it is becoming positive as it comes to the left hand side x minus x1 positive x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to obviously 0 appears to the right hand side. So the equation that we are looking for the diametric form of the circle is x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0. Now remember x1 y1 x2 y2 I repeat once again remember x1 y1 x2 y2 are the coordinates of the two ends of the diameter a is x1 y1 b is x2 y2 so the final equation in diametric form is x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0